Hi and welcome to Cooking with Trish. Uh, today I have a bunch of concoction on here so I'm going to explain them all. I got a lot of feedback from our viewers who said to me, well can you cook in a lot of kind of American or Spanish type things? When are you going to do some real Caribbean food? So I decided to show you how to do something that is really Caribbean. Actually it came from, I think it started in India, but the Indians when they came down as indentured servants, took it into the Caribbean and we adapted it as part of our culture. It's roti, okay? Um, it's uh, roti, which is like a dish we make with curry. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about roti. It's, um, uh, you're going to see some pictures showing on the screen because we made a pot that you, I have in front of me already, but I'm going to explain to you how to do it. So basically I got a pot, I put some oil, just enough to cover the, um, the, pot, the bottom of the pot, and then I put some curry powder. Um, probably about three to four tablespoonful, but, but here's the thing, it depends on how much you're making. I'm going to be out of view for a little bit and we'll just get something so I can show you. Um, one second, I have this pack of chicken. It feels about, this feels about 10 pounds to me, okay? And it's a chicken that we get in the supermarket around here that says chicken for stew and curry. It's perfect for stew and curry. It's all different parts of the chicken, cut up really small. And what I do, I take it and I clean up all of the um fat and all of the skin and i wash it in vinegar i rinse it off and then i season it now this concoction here is my bag of tricks so what do i put on there I put my green seasoning i put um soul food seasoning larry seasoned salt um there's another tropical thing here that i put i put minced onion minced garlic i put a little bit of mrs dash sorry okay mrs dash i put some some um some um chicken rub because i'm using i'm making chicken roti ground pepper uh, ground black pepper and i and i season the meat with it and i cover it up okay um and i let it sit for some hours in that seasoning now you can make roti with chicken you can make vegetable roti you can make roti with beef you can make roti with goat uh you can make shrimp roti so um, it depends on your, what, you, what, you, what you're feeling like or what, what's your favorite. I don't have much, uh, I love shrimp roti, but I eat chicken roti more often because it's a little more attainable for me um, when I come home and I want to fix something for the kids. So basically what I do, there's, a, there's two parts of the roti. There's the roti ingredients that goes inside of the skin. Okay, and if you look at it, you're going to see what you see in here is meat and, and potatoes. So I get some potatoes, some Irish potatoes and I cut them up small. It depends on how small you want it. There's no formula as to if it's going to be this small or that small, it's up to you. I like them kind of cut up in small pieces like, like this, okay? Um, so, you know, people might want it bigger, it doesn't matter. So I cut that up. Uh, I got like two cans of um, chickpeas, okay? I, the five pound pack of, of, of um, chicken that's seasoned, and what I do, I throw some oil into the pan, I let it get hot, and then I put some curry to taste. And when I eat curry, I like to taste my curry. That's just the type of person I am. If I'm going to eat something with coconut, I got to taste my coconut. I'm going to eat something with curry, I want to taste my curry. So I put for this about five tablespoons of curry because I like it really curry, curried up. And when it started to get brown, don't let it brown, but when it started getting brown, you then take the chicken mix, which should have been sitting around for some hours taking seasoning, um, and you put it into the, the warm oil with the curry brown, okay? Just to brown it. You don't burn it. You don't leave it on there long. Maybe like a minute, two at the most, but I would say about a minute. Brown the curry, put in the, 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 um, the, the chicken mixture, and then... You turn it up a couple of times because you want it to get that nice yellow, t yellow, yellow color, you know. And you can see I got quite a bit of it in here. Okay, so now you got you add to it. You after after the chicken is cooked a certain way, you add to it your 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 um, potatoes that you cut up and your two can of, of chickpeas and you let it cook some more. Now the the skin part of it. I don't have the time to make the skin. I remember years ago I had a special pot I would make the skin with. I don't have that time. What you can do is go to most Jamaican restaurants or Caribbean restaurants and some of them sell the skin, the roti skin. So it's, it looks like this 
Okay, the roti skin. It's folded up. It's actually a big thing. So, you can open it. And if you're my children, you open it like this, and then you take some of that, and you, you put it in the middle of this, and you wrap it back. You make a wrap, and you eat it. I don't particularly like it that way. What I do, because this is a big thing here. So, I take up part of it. I usually eat mine in two days. So, I take part of mine off, and I'm going to get a little aluminum foil. I'm going to wrap this up, the, the half of this up, and I'm going to have this tomorrow. Okay? I perform mine, like what they call it, I think they call it what? Bus up shots, where you basically take pieces of the roti, you bust it up in pieces, okay? And then I just add this mixture in the same plate with it. Um, I think this is still a lot, so I'm going to add a little bit more. To my lunch tomorrow, if I'm going to walk, I'll, I'll, I'll take some, some roti to walk, some of the roti skin. But I basically just bust it up like this. Okay, I bust it up, and then I add to my plate my roti ingredients. My chicken, my chickpeas. I put the roti stuff into this, right? So now I have my, my bus up pieces of roti skin. I have my potato. I have my, um, my chickpeas. I love chickpeas. Um, and that's my dinner. Now, like I said, the children, I have some more over here. So when they're ready, they'll take theirs and they'll open it out in their plate. They'll put some of this stuff in it and they'll wrap it back and they'll just eat it. Okay. I don't necessarily like it that way. They think it's too fussy. I like to just eat it like that. Okay, so that's how you make roti. So again, you get a pot with, just cover the bottom with oil, put curry to your taste, let it brown a little bit, then you add chicken that's already cleaned, and cut up and seasoned to it and turn it up so that it takes that nice yellow color. And then once the chicken has cooked to a certain way, you get Irish potato and you cut them up in little chunks and you get like two cans of, of chickpeas and you add it to that chicken um, curry mixture and let it cook, continue to cook. And the amount of chicken I would say is about, that I did is about five pounds. You might want, you live alone or you have a small family, you might do one pound, two pounds. So you would of course adjust the amount of seasoning. And again, the seasoning that I put, and the people have different things, is green seasoning, minced onion, minced garlic, um, soul food seasoning, Larry season, salt, of course there's curry. It, that I put in the pot, but I don't put curry to my meat. I personally, when I did make it, brown the curry and add the chicken. I don't put it on the meat itself. Then you might have a little chicken rub, a little Mrs. Dash, and um, you make a tasty dish that's very simple, and there's not a big deal of, of, of you know stuff going on there. It's just a quick kind of pushing things together. As you can see, I like things that are um, economical, and I like things that are quick. This chicken is like $5.99, Five eighty-seven for five pound pack. You do have to do a lot of cleaning if you want to do it healthy. You want to pull off all that skin. You want to pull out all, all the fat. But it's it's a nice tasting chicken. It's not the hormony tasting chicken like we, we see around here. It's, it has more like a foulish. It's not quite foul. You add foul kind of thing. But it has like a taste. It's like to me a cross between foul and, and chicken. All right. So um, when I say fowl, I mean something that you that's running around in the yard. Chicken is that stuff that they grow just so that they could give us meat. Chicken uh, uh, meat. So that's basically how you make Caribbean roti. So thank you for joining us and cooking with Trish. Bye bye.